G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jilbrutal, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we're coming back for day 3 of my first experience in Undead Legacy, and so far, well not really so good if I'm being honest, I'm making a right pelican of myself at every turn available, but we're slowly starting to get the hang of things, my fire's over here, cooking away some water for me, I've gotten rid of the pole in the corner, and the toolbox in this corner as well, just trying to like, free up some space in my... Barely even a base. It's more of like a den that I just cower in to try and hide from the zombies. But the sun has risen on a brand new day. I've got jobs to do for Trader Potato. And I need to push to make myself a research table. One of these bad boys. That seems pretty important because everything in the game seems to revolve around it. So to get some books and to get some paper, that is priority number one. That's what i got to push for. My stone pickaxe is actually pretty messed up from my harvesting endeavors last night. But to make the research table... Uh, yeah, no, research station rather. Need five books, 40 paper. And I have three books and 26 paper. So like 20 and two. Okay, I can do that. I'll just... Ooh, I won't leave you cooking actually because it's going to waste a lot of my firewood. And apparently that's pretty important. So can I stop you? Ah, there we go. There's an on and off button. Lovely. I'll take what I can out of that. That's going to waste 20 seconds. That'll do. That's fine with me. Turn you back on again. But it was always as easy as just pressing the button. Chuck you away. Okay, well, no time like the present, I suppose. The zombies ooh, are spawning in. That might be a wandering horde over there, so I'll stick well clear of that. Drop down to here and get cracking all of my day. I'll have to find some coffee and some breakfast. Yeah, that is definitely a wandering horde wandering through the field, so I'll just leave them to their own devices. So if I need books and I need paper... I mean, I've been finding most of those things just in random garbage around the joint, but potentially like, going to have a look at some of the, the newspaper stands around the town... Might be an option. In fact, with my new carpenter's axe, can I harvest you for some paper? That's going to make my life a little bit easier. A little bit like a scrap here and there will be fine. Just, you know, drips and drabs will make it all work. A drop in the ocean still makes the ocean bigger. Look at it. Look at that 240 just sitting there undercover, which is nice, making sure the rust doesn't get more well, further to it. But it's sitting there waiting for me to kind of repair it and take it for a joyride. What have I got? Lead trophy and scrap wire. I'll take all of that and harvest you for the paper. I want it. I want it so bad. Slap some purple dye on that and we're off to the bloody races. I love that there's a JDM nugget in this. It just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. I mean, look, I'm gushing about it. I'm still not explaining how excited I am about it. Found some more components, an electric switch. I'll take that and the paper as well. Thank you very much. Anything exciting in the fruit baskets? No, just some rotten flesh. I do like the because... Ooh, some water. I'm kind of thirsty and, well, pretty hungry, actually. I might have to just drink you straight away, make it nice and easy. I like that the, the carrying capacity is based on weight now rather than just inventory slots because it means I can just take well, anything I bloody want to. don't have to think about how much space I have left over. The downside is that I can't just whack like a storage chest out the front of whatever building I'm going into. I've got to try and plan ahead and make sure I have the, uh, the space for it. You're empty, that's fine. I will just give you a little tickle. There we go, start the quest, run back out the front and check to see if the postman's been. Postman Pat and his black and white cat has brought me a hunting bow schematic. I'll read you, because you're better than my current bow. And a better bow, even though I can barely use it ever, would be a good idea. So that's new. I can search the stacked boxes. These are normally just like random things taking up space, but now they actually have... Oh. Fuel brick? I'm sorry, what? A condensed wood block mostly made out of scrap wood that burns exceptionally well. Brassing it's an iron pipe. So there's actually like good gubbins in this? Interesting. Okay, so I've got so many more containers to search. Scrap you. Take some more paper. Thank you very much. So I needed like... Ooh, a recipe for a yucca smoothie as well. Thank you. And some nuts and bolts, which I need for my engine repair mod. So my car repair mod. Basically, it's a whole new engine. So, okay... That's very interesting. Not really quite what I was expecting, but I've got 19 paper on, which means I now have enough paper. I just need books. But can't I make myself books? Book. Disassembly station or in a research station. So that's not really going to help me. Got to find some old page turners around here somewhere. But now I have so many more places to look. I don't know. I'm kind of hopeful about it. So I unlocked their desk before they, oh, before they moved on out. Damn it. I still woke up before I got to him. One of these days, I'll get a super stealthy bow shot that isn't just on a couple of strippers up on the roof like the other day. I want to use it more often, but my stealth skills just aren't up to par. Neither is my stamina. Hold your horses. Oh, missed him. 
finished him. There we go. You know what? Cheeky tea bag to start the day. We've done a whole rest of our other morning routine. May as well do that one soon. No one else hanging out up here with it. Nope, no whackers, knackers. Well, if I have to get my lock picking skill up, can I pick my way into you? Ooh. Auto pick. What the shit is auto pick? A and D uh, keys to. And wait, hang on. Use the A and D keys or hold left click and drag the mouse cursor across the screen to move the lock pick. Space to try and unlock. So. So it's like a Skyrim thing? Like you gotta find the angle and get into it? Okay. What does the auto pick do though? So my auto pick chance is 22%. So I'll stay away from that. Can I? Oh, oh, my auto pick chance is going down. Okay. No, no wiggle. Just give me, give me a, little, a little wiggle. A little wiggle. Anywhere? I'm going to snap my lock pick. This is not good. <laughs> oh, there we go. I was going to say, how do I know what's a little wiggle and what's just a jiggle it about in the hole? No, no, no. Come on. We'll... Damn it, we're right there. There we go. Oh, no. Yes. All right. I, I don't know. I don't know. I made it inside there. Did that make my um my lock picking skill go up at all? Do I just have to like break a whole bunch of lock picks and get my level up that way? That gave me nothing. That gave me nothing. I need to be level 75 to pick a wall safe. That's so far to go. <sighs> all right. I'm going to need a shitload more lock picks. Make sure I grab the supplies before I get distracted with all the zombie murder. Thank you. I did see one bookshelf down there, which is getting me a little bit frothy. Uh, right. Let's just drop down to the couch. That didn't wake anyone up. I should have popped open that cupboard before I dropped down, but whatever. You live, and if you're me, don't learn. Reading this skill book will increase your level in mining tools by one. So is that like kind of like the books in Darkness Falls? You know, there was like those series you could read where it would increase your level. Is that like that? What's my mining tools level at the moment? Then? Let's just t uh, test this one out. My skills. Mining tools is there. So I've got level one at the moment. Right. Okay. And if I read this. Read. You. Nah, no, wrong one. Back to here. Skills is now level two. But out of a hundred, though. Okay, so, all right, those books are valuable, but not quite how I thought they would be. I maybe could have scrapped it into a book, which might <laughs> work out in the long run. Is what it is, I suppose. Ooh, I see stripper titties. Hold your horses. I feel like that definitely should have made a connection. I'm not paying you for a connection this time, but I'm trying to give you something. Uh, excuse me? What? There we go. Finally, third time's a charm. Not my best form. Before I do anything else, make sure we open the door. Always gonna have an escape route in case things get really heavy really quick. Oh, extra bookcase as well. I'll take you for one old book. So we're one book away from get getting ourselves the research station. Uh, can I? I can pick doors. Interesting. 20% chance of getting inside it, but all right. I'll try and get used to this new sit. Oh, there we go. Bit of tickle bit more tickle bam wham bam thank you man we're in and golden i mean there's not much in here but i'm still here for it can i grab you and real quick just fill up that there we go now we're starting to figure our shit out oh yes gotta cook it i've got two cooking pots but i didn't have one of those yet so that's gonna be really handy back at home a new pocket knife which is really good because this one's completely knackered uh, 5.9, you're doing a little bit less, but your condition is oh so much better. Only like a couple of swings left in that little hot slice. So, all right, I'll, I'll keep you for now. I'll use you. I'll stab a couple of zombies in the face and break you over their nose. Nothing else there. Oh, hello, everybody. Don't mind me. Just ransacking all your goods. I was going to say you could die first, but you didn't really want to. You're dead. Yeah, you are. All right, nice and lovely. Let's try the other one then. Stealth damage, not doing as much as I'd hope, but there we go. Wake you up, bring you over so I can stick this in your eye. Nice, Gary. Finish you off too. No. <laughs> I just can't, just can't kill him quick enough. There we go, it's finally broken. Sort you out my big old pipe. Happy as. Got some scrap titanium, which is the first I've seen of that. So thank you very much. I am looking a little bit peckish though. Wouldn't mind a snack or two if you wouldn't mind, game. Just keep me sustained and happy for the long trip back home. Search for our trash for just some empty glass jars. Oh, that's that door on the other side. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep on moving down. My hopes of finding like a... Oh, all right. Let's see the past or something that has kind of passed me by. Is it just you though? 
I'd kind of rather fight you in the basement, but I guess we're going on the stairs instead. Fighting on the stairs is just unnecessarily dangerous. Especially when you give them a bonk and they get real excited about it. An iron combat knife schematic. I'll take you. Thank you. I've got a bunch of extra random garbage all over me. Scrap the cans. Iron arrowhead. I'll keep you for later. I've got some steel ones back at home as well, but that's a future Josh problem. Come on, there's going to be one more book around here somewhere. You aren't locked at all and only have a t-shirt and charger, but you're doing four and nine compared to two and ten. So the red one's kind of better, I suppose. It's more of an all-rounder. So, all right, chuck the red one on. Scrap the pink one. Maybe should have taken the die out of it first, but whatever. Okay, we'll keep on pushing on. There's so many more things to loot now. Need to retrain myself about what's a loot container and what I can actually find things in. Although half the time these things are empty. But lead ingots, I feel like finding anything ingot is good. Oh, we've made it to the end of the POI. That was quicker than I expected. All right, not too shabby at all. I'll quickly whip you over with my sweet new carpenter's axe. So we've got a savage country, a wooden crate, and... Working stiffs and a bunch of random gubs. All right. Okay, I'm happy with that. Oh, actually. Okay, before I go, I'll go back to like the main living room area and break down the bookshelves because that might actually give me some more of the books that I'm so desperate for. Have a little... Ooh, <laughs> little look seeing you. Triple storage pocket mod if you don't bleed in mind. What do you actually give me though? It's not based on inventory slots. Plus 20 back, uh, backpack space. So that's going to give me a good, what, 20% raise. I'll take that. I don't have any spots for you right now, but I think you can go into them. Shark you in. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. 120 kilograms of carry capacity. My boy, buff. I just kind of grabbed that without really realizing. That's a 5.56 five, round. So it's like, what, there's extra ammo in this now? I've got 9 mil. That's fine. But now there's 5.56. Five, Commonly used by combat rifles. Are there still 7.62s? Like, how, how... Can I go like this? Ammo. Oh, my lord. Right, there is a lot of different ammos then. So we got 44, 10 mil, 556, 7.62, 7.92. Shit uses a 7.92. I don't even know. 9 millimeter, a bunch of arrows and shit, and then, like, all, like, your um, novelty rounds, like your APs and your hollow points and whatnot. So, okay. It's <laughs> not, not quite what I was expecting, but I'll roll with it as best I can. Crossbow bolts for iron and some paddy boy boots. I'll whack you on me toesies or... Ew, I was wearing cowboy boots? Horrendous. I'll just scrap those off the truck then. Didn't even realize I was rustling around in Arlene's favorite skins. Nah, not anymore though. And some old bloody books. Well, our mission has been a success. We found what we needed. We'll also go and break down the... Um, ooh, a stone pickaxe. It's slightly better than this one. We'll also go and break down the bookshelves down below just to make doubly sure. What are you doing? 41 compared to 27. Scrap you. Take the new one. All right. Let's crack on. Let's get out of here. So is this this one? Do you actually give me a book for breaking? I hope so. No, just a bunch of wood. or oh, broken planks and scrap wood. I'll break the other one just in case. Nah, same goes, big nose. All right, cheers, knackers. I'll head out and go back and see Trader Potato hand in my quest and hopefully get some juicy rewards. Where were we? All the way over that way. I'll go and see him first, then I'll go home and build my research table. I didn't realize the research table is so apparently integral to everything in this game, or else I would have built that first thing, uh, or first right off the bat. Speaking of bats, so I got my cricket bat back at home. Pink cheap. I'll quickly have a little gander at you. Anything fun inside you? Cars often have good things, and I'm desperate for shinies. <laughs> Didn't realize we're going out to play Hunt Shrek. Grab your torch and pitchforks. What are you doing, though? 17.7, which is kind of like, it's the same as what my long club is doing. But do you count as a spear or a club? Got a zinc ingot and some hinges and a bobby pin as well. In fact, I figure the bobby pin is used to make, like, lockpicks recipes. No, I, I, I don't know that. I don't know, but you, does it tell me for a club or a spear? I guess I want to find out is how he attacks with it. So that looks like a spear to me. All right, good to know. Got to stick with my club though. My lovely sunny day has taken a bit of a turn, but that's okay. At least I'm still alive to see it. Close the door behind me because of anyone <laughs> cruising in behind me and causing me dramas. Welcome, friend. I was going to say the whole of the trader here, but you don't have jobs for me. So that's all right. I've left all my cash back at home. Rather silly of me. You're selling books and things though. Could have bought that from you. Nuts and bolts as well. Some bricks. Scrap leather. There's the thunderclap. So I can probably buy some of the stuff that I need to make myself the car repair kit from you. 
Well, With keep pleasure. an eye out. Need like engines and batteries and shit as well. But more importantly, I need car stuff. Oh, more 792s. Commonly used by sniper rifles. Okay, interesting. But you, art of mining, always a better idea to take a book rather than just ammo. You can craft diamond tip blade mods for tools that dramatically increases durability. Don't have any shiny rocks, but I'll take it anyway. Thank you, knackers. Got any jobs for me? Buried supplies. Fetch at the laundro store. I think a buried supplies might be a good option for this right now, I think. Let's grab you. Yeah, nah, I'll do that in just a ticket to head home and make my uh, research bench. But for now, use you. Happy as. I really want to buy like either the mining helmet for 1700 bucks. Oh, lucky gogs are 1400 Says so just down here at the bottom, get used to things again. What else have you got that's kind of tickling my fancy just a little bit? A rusty cleaver, a steel combat knife. Oh, you are very expensive. Aviation engine. That's probably for the gyro. Although, there's a bunch of like other vehicles and stuff. It's not just like cars, but like helicopters and stuff as well. I saw that on like one of the loading screens. Bench vice is required of making a workbench. You're very cheap actually, so... Okay, I'll buy you because one of the few things I can afford. Rest of this stuff, not so much. That'd be lovely, but yeah, nah. Um, the Baybor Bat is five grand, but it's a tier D. Damn right, Baybor Bat is a big old D. So we'll grab one of those if, if we can eventually afford it. That's going to have to wait for now. Iron Club does 34 compared to 26. So that's where you want to be. 10 grand. All right, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just going to leave because my eyes are running out bills that my pockets can't cash. The rain's starting to clear, which is lovely. I was real confused what that is until I zoomed in and it started like waggling in the distance. So I assume that's... Well, that's me heading south though. Uh... What? What? What is that? I'm, I'm definitely heading away from the buried supplies rally point. So what's that one? Or is that telling me there's like a dead, like a zombie's died and there's zombie loot for me to get out there? If that's like loading that in from so far away, that's actually really good for someone like me because I often forget and miss out on god bags and things like that. Ooh, there's a little car over there and another Mustang. Still don't know if it's actually a Mustang or not. Someone will correct me though. Wait, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd the, where'd the loot marker go? Um... I was, I was on my way. I was almost there. Don't take it away from me now. Ah, there it is. Search dropped loot. All right. More steroids and some food. Thank you very much. I'm still definitely struggling to get my head wrapped around the, like, all the new concepts for Undead Legacy. But so far, I feel like I'm at least getting there. I'm making progress day after day. And that's all I can really ask of myself. It's the bare minimum, I suppose. Give me all of you. Uh, research station. I'll see you spell that, Josh. Research you. Craft. Don't know where I'm going to chuck you up. I'll just chuck you in like that corner there, I suppose. Right next to my splintered logs. No, don't take too long to go. But how do I get like the better versions of you then? Like, how do I get like the tier 2 and the tier 3? Is there something I put into you to make you better? Uh, you're now done though. I'm now level 4. I've got a skill point to spend. I'll exactly where I'm going to put that. Use my new fandangled search bar that I love so much. Research station. Grab you. I love it. I love having a search bar. Boy, I'm going to miss that when I go back to vanilla. It's actually way wider than I thought it was going to be. Can I pick up this squirrel then? I kind of just left it here. Here we go. Take. Take back the demonic squirrel. Get you out of the way. Just shove you in a box somewhere. I'm going to put you just there. All right, squirrel, get out of my inventory, wherever you are. Go away, please. Okay, so use research station. So, oh, okay. So now I need to do it all over again. Blacksmith forge. What's this between a forge and a furnace? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it will tell me in my like, regular crafting table then. Read schematics. That's a mechanics workbench. Tailor station. Okay. There's a lot. There's a lot that I need, but like the common thing here is always the research data. So I'm going to need a whole lot more of that for all of this. Okay, so if I go forge, blacksmith's forge, that one. Workplace of processing various metal bits and ingots, gotcha. How is that different from the furnace then? Furnace. Crafting, so metal ingots, bricks, okay. Okay, so they kind of work hand in hand. Fair play to you then. I'll have to get both. I'm trying to find where I've stashed all of my, uh, my research points, all of my SD cards. I've left them around here somewhere, but where exactly that is, I'm not entirely sure. There they are. Got 150 of you. Okay, is that enough to build anything right off the bat? I need 200 there, 200, 200. 
200 for everything. Okay, well, I'm just going to store all of you into here. I like having the outputs I can just chuck the relevant materials into without really having to blink an eye. Got broken planks on me for no reason. You can go away, and so can all of that. Uh, stone axe. Mm, no, you can stay there. Got my cricket bat as well, just in case. I'll eat you because I'm kind of peckish. Put you away. I'm carrying a lot of extra stuff that I don't really need to. So I'm going to free up my inventory space before I go digging up a treasure. Actually, speaking of, though... Shovel. I'm gonna need a shovel to dig shit. How to make a shovel? Scrap shovel, steel shovel, stone shovel. I don't have the ability to make anything else, so I guess you're gonna have to be the one. Stone, rope, branches, gotcha. Oh, it's a large stone. How do I make a large stone then? Large stone. I can't. How do I get a large stone then? What? What's the di- what? <laughs> Why is size so important to you, game? I'm sorry that my, what I have is just way too small to get the job done. I guess I'll have to find one on the way then. So, stone shovel is what I'm after. I'm just missing one of those. All right, let's just hope I find a big boulder on the way then, because apparently I can't get the job done because I'm too little. Actually, on my way out there, have a little pit stop on the side of the road, I do remember getting... Yeah, another skill point up. Now, I'm looking in the right spot. I can see that. I want to put it into Sex Rex. So, reduce melee weapon and tool stamina use by 10%. Power attack stamina by 20%. Successful kills restore 20 stamina. I didn't realize that was part of, like, that skill tree right from the get-go. So, yes, buddy, please. Sex Rex, let's get cracking on. So, now, every skull I cave in, I get a bit of an adrenaline rush about it. Oh, that'll do me nicely. Two Hunter's Journal Volume 2s. 10% more damage to wolves. A very good book to have. Take one. Scrap the other for the SD kits. Lovely. So, that's 200 SD kits I have now. That's good. That's enough to get one of the recipes done back at my research table. Search you for some zinc and plastic bottles. Cheese knackers and keep on carrying on. Though I am pretty desperately looking for any sort of boulders or anything out here that might give me a large stone. You're just trying to look. Oh, there's a Piggly Winks. There's a Piggly Winks and I would like some bacon. The moment I'm living out of corn food, which is not a great idea, but you, there. Oh, I missed his schnoz by just a little bit. There we go. Got him that time. How hurt are you? You're very hurt, actually. So I should be able to finish you off with a second pill. Did I completely whiffed? Hold your horses. There we go. Right in the eye. And everybody saw it coming. I'll take my arrows back and I'll harvest you up, please. Why, why isn't the thing going down? Did I break it by doing, like, the power stroke? I'm not sure. No, Boz, this is my kill, you bloody bitch. You can't come over and steal it like an African wild dog. Go away, you laughing hyena. Nah. Just nah. Mine. Oh, how you doing, gorgeous? Loot bonus plus five. There's a couple of chicks coming from the car, but that's all right. I'm going to whack those on me noggin right bloody quick. Plus five looty goodness. I was going to spend like 1500 bucks on one of those over a tray of potatoes, but I just found some in someone's bag. Is there any... Oh, oh, nope. That's a lead node. That's fine. I need just... There we go. I need just a regular rock. You, can you please give me a big stone? Large stone. There we go. Happy days. You, stone shovel. Craft one of you. In fact, do I just see... Hang on. Repair. Uh, like a primitive repair kit in here somewhere. Okay, hang on, let's just try that differently. But I did see that I need a primitive repair kit. There you go. To repair me tool. So I need some sap to make some rope to make a primitive repair kit. All right, good to know. We're starting to figure some things out. I'm running out of time in the day. It's almost 7 p.m. and I've only just managed to make it out to the buried supplies. There's a couple of muppets around, but I'm not going to let that phase me. Bit of a divot in the ground. Are you luring? Oh my god, the stone shovel is so awful. Oh, it's going to take me for freaking enemy out here all bloody night. And I can't leave now because it's now an exclamation mark thing. And I can't just like come back to it when I have a bit more time. That is upsetting. Oh, this is going to take me eight freaking years to dig up this bloody thing. Damn it, Trainer Rex, you're trying to get me killed. Honestly, I will do this fast. I've just got my hands and knees and started clawing aimlessly at the dirt. My hands are a better shovel than my actual shovel. But, oh, well, here we are. I can't really do much about it now. I'm just going to deal with what the cards have dealt me. Please find it quickly, though. If I could find it sometime this century, I'd be very appreciative. Because I'm very nervous of being out here so far from home with the sun setting behind me. Does it still work on the same rules that vanilla buried supplies work on? I assume the quests are mostly the same. But that's a pretty bold assumption when you know nothing about what you're talking about, Josh. 
I'm just gonna oh, there's the stone layer. Okay, I was gonna say I was gonna keep going down to the stone layer and then start fanning out. The circle actually wasn't that big, so I've gone down a little bit of an angle now. I'm doing a U banger and heading back the other way. No, where was the block I was breaking? That one there. Don't want to start working on a freshie when I don't have to. Back we go. It's half past seven. Oh, I just don't have the time for this. I need better tools. Oh, 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 hold on. There it is. So it was, oh, okay. So it was directly underneath like the divot that I saw on the surface, which is good because my axe is, no, my axe, my stone shovel is very nearly broken. Can I just like squeeze through there, please? I just need to grab the box and I'll get out of your hair. Buried food supplies. Now, as soon as I take that one, everything will spawn for me. So I could have a little nibble on your past can. I can read one, scrap up for more SD kits, and I can take the rest, get up and out of the hole. Nice and quick before all the zombies show up. All right, job done. Proud of myself for that one. Not taking a buried supplies quest again though. That was awful. The game may be gorgeous and the god rays are warming my face, but I'm not feeling safe and secure at all because I'm so far away from home. I may not even have time to get back to trade potatoes and hand in this quest before he closes for the night, which if you ask me is pretty, pretty bloody rude. You sent me out on the errand. The least you could do is at least stay up into the night and wait for me to come back home again. Closing your doors while I'm out here risking my biscuits for you to have your cup of tea. Just a little heckin' rude, but this trade director should be expected by now. Oh, my frame rate just went to us. There's probably lots of zombies around. There we go. Check for eggs on the way back through, though. Now I have some bacon. It needs to be paired up nicely. It's half past eight, so hopefully old man hasn't gone to bed yet. I know his bedtime's super bloody early. Uh, Recti, yeah, you're still up and about. Love to, well, I don't love to see. Actually, I'll take that one back immediately. But, ooh. Here's your reward. So what do the steroids actually give me? They only carry more and perform actions normally when you have a broken or sprained limb. Okay, so they're like the regular steroids, just pill form. Makes sense, but a hunting rifle schematic. Do I even want to use you or just scrap you for the SD cards? Mm, I've got steroids already, so that's less important. I don't think I really want to use a hunting rifle, but if I make one, I do have a bit of ammo for you. And I suppose any firearm's a good firearm this early on in the piece. So, okay, I'll take you. Thank you very much. I don't want any of your other jobs, though, because they're all bloody worthless. Although, I can probably do that one nice and quickly tomorrow before I come and see you again. Just to get in your good graces, so you might, for once, do me a solid and have something good to offer me. Look at that. Look at that, though. Just take a moment to drink all of that in. The sun's setting over the mountain range over there. Looking bloody remarkable, if I do say so myself. The job I need to do is just up here. I'm not going to do it right now. I do want to head straight home, back to my little eye candy tower to try and make it through another night. It's very early in the piece, and I'm exceptionally uncomfortable with this playthrough right now. I have no idea what I'm doing. So, like, spending the night times just hoping nothing finds me is about the best option for me. I'm going to make it home before night time sets in, though, which is good for me. Oh, man. Where do I go next, though? Where can I go to find some better gubs? I know that, like, the Fates Motel over there has some pretty good gubbins up in the attic of it, but that's a pretty significant raid. And given at the moment, I'm wielding a pretty broken long pipe. I don't think I've got something that big under my, uh, under my, uh, ability right now. Night time is about to fall. Give me my eggs. I've got my meat on me. Now, I assume I probably still need to get, like, a Master Chef or something annoying to make bacon and eggs, or... No. You can just whack him in the pot and you're happy as a cucumber. Okay. That has made me exceptionally happy then. Can only make like, what, six of them, but that's A-OK -okay with me. All you need is a little bit of fuel, and I should have some of that around here somewhere. I'll whack it back into this one. Firewood, but I do also have... No, I should keep those fuel bricks for, like, forges and things. Go full, um, bloody Dr. Emmett Brown and use special condensed wood to get things a little bit hotter. Let's chuck you into there, then. Whip up a bunch of you. Lovely. Cook that one. And also, cook a bunch of these, too, because why not? Chuck you in. You're not going to use all of my fuel, but you'll get damn well close. In fact, no, you will. I've got more fuel around here somewhere. That's fine. Get everything cooking. I now have enough research data for one uh, schematic that I can learn. So what do I need for that? I need bricks. I need large stones and paper. What's probably the most important thing, though? I assume, like, a forge or a furnace, because that's how regular seven days is, but that may not be completely correct. So I'm not really sure what the next step I have to take is. 
Probably a workbench, actually. What do you need? A wrench, which I don't have. A wooden hammer, which I don't have. Paper, logs, mechanical parts, and iron plating. So iron plating would come from the forge, I assume. It's kind of like, I'm basing my decision on like how basic the ingredients are, like how rudimentary the, the gubs that go into it is so I can actually get my shit together. So you need large stones. It's probably one of these two because you need bricks would come out of a forge. You need ooh, rubber. That's actually not too bad. Mechanics tables on the, on the cards potentially. And you would, mm, I could make one of those. But I, I definitely think that's the way to go. So I need small stone, iron pipes, clay, leather, duct tape, and paper. All right, I should have some of that around. Just hold on a tick. I'll come right back to you. I have three paper shorts. Three paper short of getting myself a furnace. This is just for the schematic as well. This isn't even to bloody make the thing. Uh, where can I find... Oh, this is going to be a risky biscuits. Where can I find three paper? Is there like any like broken trash or something around here that I can grab? I shouldn't be doing this in the dead of night. I'm not comfortable at all, but I want it. I want to learn how to, like, melt down some metals, please. If you could just teach me that, I'll leave you on your way. Mm, not through there. Not down there. It's heckin' foggy outside, too. It's real bloody ominous. I'm all the way down at the bottom, and I'm scared. Oh, please just reach the bloody blocks. Let you... There you go. Visibility go all the way down. Well, I need three paper. There's one. I'm actually, like, hidden in the dark. This isn't too bad. One more, please. Is that enough? One more. Please. Pretty please. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. For goodness sake, I was trying so hard. Oh, there's some stacked boxes over here with nothing in here. Thank goodness. Ooh, I want that torch, actually. Can I take you? Thank you. And I'll quickly chuck you up into my base. That is terrifying. Apparently that torch was important to the deities up above because they are real mad that I took it down. Maybe raining outside, but that's all fine. Where did that torch? I didn't get the torch? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have hit it with an axe then. Ooh, that would have been silly of me. All right, whatever. Let's pretend that didn't happen. No wonder the gods are mad at me. You, research that. It's going to take a full minute and took a lot of my gubbins away with it too. Do I actually get the forge though for researching it? Or is it going to be like, hey, congratulations. Now go build yourself one. Forge. So you're going to give me... Oh, no, there's no like... Oh, no, it's called a furnace now, isn't it? Furnace. That one. So to give me the schematic and you're going to need a bunch of the... I bet you it's the same ingredients again. All over again to make another bloody thing. Dang. All right. Well, let's see what it gives me. Let's not get too carried away just yet. Last couple of seconds. Give it to me, baby. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Take you. Imagine scrapping that for the bloody uh, the SD cards as well. Use you. Nice, guys. Up now. So it is all the same stuff. I have a little bit already. I just need some more large stones and some leather. That should be pretty doable, actually. There's a bunch of, like, leather couches and stuff around I can go and break down uh, to get leather out of that. I don't really want to go and murder any more wildlife because <laughs> I don't like my chances of thinning out the prey population because then the wolfy predators will get really more bold. Yeah, I'm staying out of there. Staying out of there. I don't have a torch to warm myself up with. I do have my campfire. Look at that, though. Some cheeky bacon and eggs. Slides it down me gullets. You give me 36 food and some health back as well. That's good by me. What's this? Hang on. Broadcast storage for crafting. What does that mean? So if I turn you on, broadcast storage for crafting. Hang on. If I chuck like you guys into there then, put you all away. Oh my goodness, it says I still have it. So, I... I can put things into boxes and they're all like connected. I don't have to have it in my hands to craft shit. I can just go where I need to go and it will re Oh my fucking lord, are you kidding me? There's search bars in storage and I don't actually need to take shit out of the boxes to craft stuff with it? I'm going to hate vanilla forever now. I'm gonna get so used to that. That's so fucking good. Are you joking? How? How have you modded this into the game? That's everything. That's everything. Search bars and like picking out a storage. I'm flabbergasted. I'm so stoked with that. Fuck yes. All right. Well, with that amazing discovery sorted, 
I can't, I can't believe that. That's that's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And sliced bread is pretty fucking fantastic. That's the best thing since a fresh piece of pavlova. And that is not an exaggeration at all. But with that amazing discovery discovered, I'm going to have to leave this episode here. So in the morning, I'm going to go do that fetch quest out of the laundromat. There might be some leather in there for me too. Mm -hmm. Need to go mine up some big stones to get myself my furnace, not my forge, my furnace, and start pushing on into some better materials. Because at some point, I'm going to need that car repair kit. I need my research station tier 3. I have no idea how to upgrade you, but maybe we'll find that out eventually. Ooh, there's... Oh my god, there's so much more in here than I thought there was. So I can just... So I can just research shit? If I find schematics I don't need, I break them for SD cards. And I can just research the stuff rather than relying on the random number generator system? I love this mod. I love this mod from top to bottom. Yes, it's going to fuck me sideways later on in life, but you know what? It's worth it. For all these quality of life adjustments, it is bloody worth it. So I'm have to come back and keep getting wide-eyed and bushy-tailed and all the wonderful things that are in Undead Legacy in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.